today is day one of mating with Flossie. This is Flossie's last and final litter and we are heading to Wales shortly so I'll let you know. <laughs> because I forgot which day we are but this morning she's not finished her breakfast because she must feel a little bit sick. Are you okay for us? Are you feeling a bit sick? And she's doing loads of wheeze, like loads and loads and loads of wheeze. This is day 30 of pregnancy. some scrambled egg because she still won't eat and uh, we mixed it with the food and she had a bit of that as well and she's had a folic acid this morning which helps with the development of the bones and things of the babies so we're still not getting much eating from flossy so we're now trying it with some banana and that seems to be going really well not just the banana i have to get a spoon i'll show you and then she'll eat the food and the banana well sometimes <laughs> there we go she's having it off the floor um, but she needs food right now because otherwise your babies won't grow properly, will they? So I'm just trying to basically do anything we can to make her eat. And the banana is working really well at the moment. It was carrot a few days ago. Now it's banana. Also, it's an extra bit of nutrition, which I'm sure is good for her. It's scan day today, so I'll take you with us and film as much as I can. Well, obviously we already know she's pregnant, but hopefully we'll get a good number today and find out that they're all okay. <laughs> Come on now then. Now what she does. Oh yeah. Oh wow. Was your image like that? Yours, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yours is very slight and clear. I think I need to mess about my um, setting of fuel. Right, okay, yeah. Yeah. So which boy did you use? Uh, same one as last time. Oh, right. Chocolate, Chocolate and tan. Oh, beautiful babies. Right, let's see what we've got here. So we've got one, two. So we just had the scan at our fertility clinic. I will leave a link down below to the fertility clinic that we use. It's in Preston if you're in the north of England. Um, and Melanie is who works there and she's lovely and so she did the scan today and she can see the same amount of puppies that we could see so we could see three on one side four on the other she thinks potentially there might be four on the side that we saw three so she said seven or eight puppies which is great news and um, we don't care how many as long as they're all healthy um so yeah so that's exciting as you could see pretty much the same thing we could see on our scan we like going there anyway so it was worth going and going to see Melanie um seven or eight puppies which is very exciting she's going to be busy um and we've got less than five weeks to go oh, no. fossey's got three and a half weeks to go as you just saw we just did a couple more scans and the babies are moving around kicking the legs tummy's quite round tummy's getting big can you see that like cheeks are up it's really getting wide um she is already tired at this point she's still got three and a half weeks to go aren't you floss and good mama yeah well done flossy we've just seen six moving oh. um so oh are you getting kicks yeah you probably just woke them up there. they probably just woke up haven't they Very 
beautiful. We're going to do another scan tomorrow. But look how wide she is. She's obviously quite hairy at the moment because we've not trimmed your belly yet, have we? But she is full. Struggling getting up, um, struggling getting up the stairs and up the back door step this week. Um, you can feel them wriggling around. Um, Bear Bear's gone to sleep on the couch. Um, yeah, she is ready for these babies to come out, aren't you? Flossie has 13 days to go on this pregnancy, so it is time to set up the welcome room. So I'm just gonna go get the vet bed and then we'll show you our setup. So we bought a new sofa for the welcome room for mum and I to sleep on. Normally we carry a mattress down or sleep in a chair. So now we have a sofa to sleep on. So we've got box up, we've got lino underneath, we've got vet bed inside, and I'll just get the heat pad. Heat pad in, and then it's done. Mum's got some pretty bunting. Here it is with the bunting, and here's a welcome box, all ready for floss. A safety gate on this door so she feels a bit more comfortable. With the other pouches. Here she is, straight in. But yours first. Do you like your bunting? Is that fun? You're going to have your babies in there? Yeah. <laughs> it's belly trim time. So we probably won't scan Fossy now until she is in labour. Oh, she's another floof that we <laughs> So we will see you when Fossy is in labour. Today we have one week to go with Fossy. She's due next Wednesday. And look at Tummy. It's very big. And she is very tired. She's not finished her breakfast this morning. And she had a little bit of the poops. I'm thinking maybe tomorrow what do we think floss she can't get on this couch anymore which is not that high it's just got blankets all over it for your feet is you all right let's see so this is day 62 belly's rock solid it's actually got a little bit softer and the babies feel like they've moved further down here and feel a little head there there's definitely something there i can definitely feel um Look at that, she's showing off with the leg in the air. Still day 62, we are now, what time are we? 20 past eight? 20 past nine. 20 past nine in the evening. Um, she's just lost a little bit of mucusy stuff and she's really panting and keeps doing this starey thing that she does and licking, which is usually a sign of pain. I think that was right on cue there, Floss. Mm. Um, so we're just gonna monitor her. She might be within the next few hours, but she might be tomorrow yawning as well, sign of pain. On day 63, she's just had a wee and a poo. Come on, Lassie. Oh, bless her. She's going back in. Welcome, room. Oh, How are you doing, puppet? Day 64, quarter past three in the afternoon, and she's still going. She's got a huge belly, it is rock solid when you feel it. Day 64, we still don't have any bubbies. We have a very tired Flossie. And she's been nesting loads and panting loads. So I think we've not got long left. Good girl. That was a good one. She's looking at it, that leaves me in the wind, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. 